Hi everyone, my name is Ramu and I'm a product manager for Spatial and Graph. In today's video, I'm going to go over two questions. The first one is, what are graphs? And the second one is, why are graphs important? So let's get started. In order to understand graphs, we need to understand graph theory. So let me introduce you to it. Graphs have two main components, vertices and edges. We'll use circles to represent vertices and lines to represent edges. Vertices can also be called nodes and are normally nouns or entities like people, places, and things. Edges are what connect nodes or represent relationships between them. For example, a person can know someone, be friends with someone, or work with someone, or all of them at the same time. They both contain properties. For example, for people, we can have name, age, gender, and occupation as properties. In here, we can see how Samantha has been working and is friends with Julia for nine years. The nine years represent a property of the edge. Edges can also be undirected. For example, David is married to Maria. And in this case, the direction is not important because we can also say that Maria is married to David. On the other hand, we also have directional edges. In here, we have David that has rented a movie, but a movie cannot rent David. This wouldn't make sense. This is why this case is directional. So why are graphs important? Graphs are important because they help us represent the data in tables as a graph. If we go back to the table, the table format with rows and columns is normally what we use to store our data but it's difficult to identify patterns in a table. If we want to answer a question like, what customer rented the Godfather movie? We need to go to our movie table and search for the Godfather. Then we notice that it is movie ID M2. Then we have to go to the rented table and find M2, identify that C4 and C3 are customers that rented this movie then go to the customer table to get their names. The information is distributed across three tables. With a graph, we're able to see these patterns in one visualization. By visualizing this data as a graph, it's easy to see how Denise and Rahul have rented the Godfather movie. We're also able to see their properties and using algorithms, we might be able to identify similarities between customers to recommend the right movie to the right person and keep our customers happy. Graph is being used to solve so many difficult problems in different industries like the financial industry for fraud detection, marketing for product recommendation, and manufacturing for process efficiency. If you have any questions about Graph or you want more information, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you check the links in this video and have a great day.